Hey, do you want to protect yourself from the ravages of electromagnetic radiation? If you're concerned about your cell phone scrambling your brain, or Wi-Fi interfering with the functioning of your chakras, there are easy solutions. You can attach a smart dot sticker to the offending device that will block radiation, or you can wear special jewelry to prevent your body from absorbing any radiation. Scam alert! Actually, double scam! There is no evidence that radio waves emitted by cell phones or Wi-Fi equipment cause any sort of illness. But even if this were the case, the inane protectors would offer no protection. The only way to block electromagnetic radiation is with a Faraday cage. Michael Faraday, best known for his invention of the electric generator and the electric motor, showed in 1836 that sparks from a static electricity generator could not penetrate into a space that was enclosed with a metallic conductor. This phenomenon was actually noted earlier by Benjamin Franklin, who reported that a cork ball tethered to a silk thread was unaffected when lowered into a silver can that had been charged with static electricity on its outside. But when held near the outside of the can, the ball was attracted. This demonstrated that charge did not penetrate through the metal. A common demonstration in science museums is to place a person into a Faraday cage made of wire mesh and aim bolts of lightning at the enclosure without harming the occupant. Similarly, the cage also blocks electromagnetic waves. You cannot listen to radio inside such a cage. The same idea is used in microwave ovens, where the window contains a screen that prevents microwaves from escaping. Magnetic resonance imagers in hospitals use magnetic fields and radio waves to produce images and require protection from interference by outside radio waves. That is why the rooms where MRI machines are in operation are lined with metal, making them into large Faraday cages. Thieves have also discovered the shopping bags lined on the inside with a metal such as aluminum can prevent detection of radio frequency security tags. These tags contain an antenna in which a current is induced by a radio wave transmitter. That current in turn generates radio waves at a specific frequency that can be picked up by a detector. Both the emitter and the detector are placed at a store's exit, and if the tag has not been removed by a cashier, an alarm sounds. That is, unless the item with the tag has been placed in a shopping bag that acts as a Faraday cage. Since no sticker or pendant acts as a Faraday cage, any claim of blocking electromagnetic radiation is sheer nonsense. Here is a question to ask a promoter of such devices. If placing one of these stickers on a phone blocks electromagnetic radiation, how come the phone the functioning of which depends on receiving and emitting radio waves still works, that will leave them scratching their heads. Of course, to do that, they will have to remove their tinfoil hats, which are actually made of aluminum. By the way, you can also buy hats that claim to protect the brain from all the wireless technologies to which we are exposed. Well, at least they may keep you warm in the winter. And that for today is our Kappa Joe.